I think what makes Tones unique as an over-dyed yarn is that for every single colorway that we have in the palette, we have over-dyed both a light gray base and a dark gray base. With other over-dyed yarns, you might see an array of different colors that are all over-dyed on the exact same base. With ours, we're actually over-dyeing on two different bases. This gives you way more color play options because you have a bright version of a colorway and you also have a darker version of a colorway. When we first got skeins of just the baseline colorways, so those two grays, Stephanie, our yarn production director, had some of us work up swatches in them to see what the fabric would look like and what kind of gauge we would get in different needle sizes. And that was, I think, back in February. And so that was like my first taste of tones and the skeins that we had got were unwashed. And so I got to soak mine and watch it like puff up. It had this whole process of blooming even just with, with washing the yarn and then knitting up the swatch and then blocking that swatch. It was just like alchemical. It was really wonderful. And I knew like from then that it was gonna be like just an incredible process. And then once we saw the lab dips, I was really excited about the color palette. And that made it so that once we got the advanced skeins, it was like on board. <laughs> Tones is really incredible to work with. The heathered colors have such depth that like any textured work that you do with it is just, it just like has really incredible stitch definition and pops out and I don't know that there is any wrong color combination that you could make within the palette. One of my favorite things to do when, when people email me asking for suggestions on putting together different colors for their projects, I love being able to pick out colors for them. And I'm so excited, honestly, to help people pick out color combinations for Tones projects because it's just like, it feels so easy, like the matrix is already set up for you and there's like so many opportunities for different kinds of combinations you can put together within the, the color palette. I love cables and textures. I mean, I love all sorts of knitting, but for me, it always comes down to cables and I love that the most. And so Tones is a really fantastic yarn for working with texture and cables. Great in the winter, keep the chill out, um, and Tones is perfect for that. And then of course, the other thing that anyone who knows me as a knitter knows is that I really, really love color. And so the palette of Tones is just phenomenal. So this hat is done in stonewash overtone and stonewash undertone, so you can pair those together. It's just stripes, color work motifs, color blocking, Tones is really amazing for, for any of that kind of knitting as well. Tones is a wool and spun yarn. And what makes that so good for a worsted weight yarn is that it lightens up the fabric. So sometimes worsted weight yarns, if they're a little too dense, can get heavy. And so if you want to knit a really oversized sweatshirt that you can just cozy up in, if your yarn is dense, that sweater is heavy. Woolen spun yarns actually have air inside of them, so even though it's a thicker weight of yarn, it actually weighs less. The very first thing I thought about Tones was that it was so squishy, which sounds like a, th a weird thing, but knitters, crocheters, and fiber lovers love to squish their yarn. It's like, just to get your hands on it is exhilarating. It's the same weight as Shelter, but it's, I consider it to be such a different yarn because it's so round in comparison. Like, Shelter to me feels kind of pebbly. Um, and Tones is this like three ply yarn that's so round and fluid. It's very squishy and makes a really even fabric with really incredible stitch definition. And then once you block it, it blooms into this really incredible, squishy, spongy almost fabric. What I really love about Tones is that it has like just really nice spring to it, um, a really wonderful stitch definition for your project. Um, and then I also, what I love about this is that it has 
the, the flex of color and has that tweedy, heathered nature to it. So it feels really rustic, but you still get a really nice, tight twist to it, really like defined lines for anything that you're working with. And it's just soft and springy and really lovely to knit with. When you're working with it, it kind of rebounds against your hand and the three ply construction makes it really springy so that you feel like it's not too tight, it's not too loose, it's not gonna break in your hand. Like, it feels quite durable and it works incredibly well in stockinette, but also in textured stitch patterns and color work, you can put together so many different combinations with this palette, with the undertones and overtones. It's just, it feels like a playground for, for color combinations. I think it's a, it's a really incredible workhorse yarn that is so versatile, that can be in, like, it's worsted weight, it can be in so many different types of projects and it softens up so beautifully and blooms with blocking.